Have you ever seen a font and wanted to use it for your own project but didn't know how to find it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to identify any font from any image, website or a document. Hey guys, my name is Roman and welcome to Webby Digital channel and in this video, we are going to uncover an amazing little trick that will help you to identify any font from any image, a website or a document. So this is really handy if you are working on a project in any specific font which you have already inspired from but don't have the time or resources to track it down. So we will show you in this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click that red button and it will boost our morale to post more and more tips and tricks like that. So let's get started. So begin with the first part. So here to get an inspiration. So I'm just browsing through the course section here, which is from the Instagram. I will download the image from the Instagram and upload such image to the online tools, which are actually available for free. So if you want to find the all the list, which is available in the description, in the link in the description box, where it will redirect to my blog. And there you will find all the list of tools, which is actually available for free to use. So I will be using the two tools here, what font is.com and next is myfonts.com. So these two tools are available for free to identify such fonts. So let's just uh, find an inspiration. So I'm just uh, searching for the inspiration and and for that I am using instagram.com and if you have already have the image then skip this part and browse through our timeline which is being written in the description. So here top post here and there are different fonts here. So let's just go with this one. Let me just screenshot it so I don't have a time to actually download it from view page so, so something like that. So here let's test this particular tool what font is com just drag and drop images however you want so it will just take us some time to actually process that image so here you have an image and in the next part you need to crop the text which you actually want to track okay and to do that you can just select any lines from it only select one okay so here you have different different they have already tracked it down for you so just I'm just selecting the first one here. Click on next step. If you have a different font in your images, then you should select one by one. So just select one like that only. And in the next step, after you identify that particular font and you can just move on to the next uploading the same pick again. So here we have uh, optimized the image. So we have a two thing. We recommend choosing this one. So I'm just going with the flow. So here we need to insert characters, whatever image we have cropped and check every image on the right side and input character accordingly. So here you have various character and you need to tell this tool to which character conveys which things. So I'm just putting is this. These are the just marks here and the B O L D O G. Okay. So these are just the characters which is being selected by me and you just need to enter the same and click on the next step. And in the next step here, it will reveal all the fonts matching or matching fonts or the exact font. So it does look exactly the same. So here, yeah, it looked exactly the same here. It says the earliest OTF. Okay. You can also download it by clicking this or you, if you have using it for the commercial purpose, then you have to buy the license here. So these are the different fonts, which is actually uh, similar to the fonts, which we have uploaded and detected by this tool. So that's the one way or the first tool which we have discovered. Let's see for the second one here. We have a myfonts.com slash pages slash what the font. So you, if you want the URL of the same tool, then you can just download, download it using the description. Let me just copy the game like that and drag it down here. So it will just process that image. So it will also tell the same way like we have done in the what font is.com. So let's just select the different text like that click next you need to type this whatever the written here so yes it does give the same actually it gives the exact font here yeah so i think americana sb regular is the exact font which is being used in this particular image so that's how you can actually use such tool to identify font which is being used in your images okay and now in the next part we are discovering web fonts okay getting from the image is already done in the first part and now we are moving towards the second part which is the web fonts so you may have been browsing website you know like here the website of us 
here webby.com so this is the website of our to detect any web fonts what you can actually do is just click right click on it inspect element okay and if you find any font and want to use it for your own project just mouse over that click on this selector what this selector do is it will mouse over all the elements on your web page okay and it will give you everything you need so if you mouse over to it it will give all the properties which is being used on that particular element if you want the font for the header section so here you have the font 14 px poppins so for poppins is the font which is being used for this particular element so let's just here mouse over it so yes it gives us the poppins so yes it's giving the same poppins so yeah it's giving the same so that's how you can actually use it you don't need to upload anything on any tool you just use the chrome itself the same way you can use on the safari on mozilla on different different formats so yeah the poppins is the main font on our website so let's just browse another website like facebook.com let's see if we can actually detect any font from here and click on here so it's, it's not giving any form because it's a logo obviously <laughs> just going here so the font for this particular is helvetica i know the language is regional so for the regional they are, can use font which is actually be available for the general use like a helvetica here right so that's how you can crack it down and if you see in the style section in the right corner there you can actually use or find all the font and child fonts which is being under there so here is the s pf pro display regular so you just need to do is copy this search on google and you will find all the fonts here right so that's how you can find your web fonts using inspect element and the next way if you want an alternative method then just click on any chrome extension which is available for you what font finder pro what you need to do is just click on this add, add to install and go to the here you need to pin it down to your browser so here you will get so it will only detect font on the web pages it won't detect any font on your images so what you need to do is go to any website like here select this and it will open what font finder browser so what you need to do is mouse over or any text you find like here it will tell you all the details about it but if you want to find all the details like all the properties or CSS properties of the same just click on it it will tell you everything about it Rooney Sans is the font for this particular element and it will tell you the size which is being used on it 400 I think it's a Google font so so if you click on it you will find all the details about web fonts so that's how you can actually identify fonts from image or a web page using such tools if you want to read it and want to find more about such tools then you can just follow along the link in the description box where we have written those tools for you so if you have learned something from this video then click the like button and if you want to learn such tricks in the future then click on subscribe button and if you want if you have something in your mind and if you want to ask some question from me then you have a comment box with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye